What's up everybody, Kamal here. Welcome to another video. Today, what I wanted to do is I wanted to take a few minutes and discuss the upcoming update, patch, new experience um, that we're getting with Warframe. So it's currently just past midnight on the 23rd. So it's two and a half, three days away. And it, it comes out on the 25th. And well, I kind of wanted to talk about one of the most disappointing things about Digital Extremes as well as this update. So it's it's kind of me venting. Um, uh, first off, if you like this kind of stuff, like, share, comment, subscribe. The standard YouTuber spiel. Um, so I watched uh, the... Tenocon live and I was super excited for everything that they were showing us it seemed to me like they had really planned this out a lot better than they have the previous years I mean the oh what was it called railjack took years after the announcement for them to actually give it to us we're still like the Deviri project or whatever it's called the Deviri protocol is they they still haven't even i mean I, I remember seeing a tenno that had like he looked like he was older pulled a tigris out of the ground and god damn it this is for all you dumbasses that call it the tigris it is not a tigris it is a tigris okay they're spelt differently i just it it frustrates me all to hell when i see people that are like oh yeah i, I use the tigris prime it's not a tigress. It's the tigress. I digress. I, I digress. <laughs> um, so, anyways, it, it typically takes them a very long time for them to release the updates that they show us, if it even happens. And what I was really excited about is that they showed us all the stuff and then they let us know, oh, by the way, it comes out in about two weeks, three weeks. I don't remember how long ago it was, uh, ab about a month, actually, three and a half weeks, because it, it was on the 1st, 25th, so yeah, about three and a half weeks, and what I was most excited about was the fact that there was this new helmet system that allowed you to take abilities from Warframes and move them onto other Warframes, and I was really excited about the potential of what we could have. You know, a whole new door opening up to different builds and customizations and everything like that. And then I saw the list of abilities and I was kind of let down. But at the same time, you know, my my gears were turning and churning and I was ready for all the new all the new different possibilities to come, you know, with with the change up. You know, I was like what abilities are they going to give us what what abilities are they going to let us move around like could you imagine this warframe with these abilities or this frame with this ability you know that just the toolkit uh changes that were possible and then they came out with the full list and i was like oh okay well at least half of these are kind of never going to be used you know, um, and so that was that was moderately disappointing to see all the different ones that we were able to have and to know that a lot of them were still just a waste. But it gets worse than that. Before we go to that, though, not only are we getting this, but we're also getting the new open world, the new infested open world, which is really exciting. Uh, I really enjoy the open world in the Plains of Eidolon. I'm not really a big fan of the other one. Um, I forget what it's called. Uh, Orb Valis. I'm not a big fan of Orb Valis. I think that that, like, I've never even fought a Prophet Taker. I, I don't, I have zero interest in that. Um, the new one, the Heart of Deimos, it looks like it could be potentially really cool. We'll have to see. Um, I wasn't really too excited about that, but due to the changes that they put out on here about a week ago, the the changes of the most significant abilities that we have the ability to change around, it's made it to where 
the actual open world is now at the forefront of the most exciting things coming out of this patch. And just to, to look at what it is, we have Rhino's Roar. The damage increase is not going to be as high. Mirage's Eclipse, which I was super excited about, not going to be as good. Um, Valkyr, Valkyr Warcry, which I didn't really care about. Uh, it's The attack speed is not going to be as high. Proteus Dispenser, the duration is reduced. I don't really understand the point of Proteus Dispenser. I don't ever use it. Um, I mean, if you need energy, just use the Xenorek Dash. Regardless, uh, Nidus's Larva, the radius is reduced. Wukong's Defy has the armor capped. And I think the biggest one that people were looking for was Rhino's Roar. I like Rhino because he's a really good Warframe. Um, he's very strong. He's very durable. He's just all around. His toolkit is amazing. And to be able to take his Roar and put it on a different Warframe, that's really awesome. Like, that's that's really amazing. But when they go, same thing with Mirage. Mirage has the same thing. I love Mirage. She's one of my favorite Warframes. But to take these two damage buffing abilities, and it's already you can only have one damage buff ability. So, like, if you were to take Roar and put it on Mirage, you couldn't have both Roar and Eclipse on at the same time. You only get one. So, to me, it really seems like a nonsensical move to nerf these damage buffing abilities when you honestly, you can't stack the damage buffs. Um... If you're playing solo obviously if you're playing rhino and you roar and then you have another rhino that roars the roar stack um but it's it's not they stack okay but you can't stack them on one warframe if you're playing solo so at least in my opinion there's no reason for them to nerf these abilities and the reason that they're saying that they are nerfing it is because they're the overwhelming choice so it's like, hey, we know that people are really excited about these abilities, so we're going to make them not as good. Okay. Um, one of the reasons many people play Warframe is the big power fantasy. Now, we do have the group of people that are looking for difficult content, and that's fine. But we also have the overwhelming majority of people that are looking for power fantasy or um, like build creating, build modifying, things of that nature. And to see that they're nerfing these abilities, just to say it again, it's very disappointing. It's very disheartening. And it's made it to where the helmet system is really not even that big of a thing at least for me and everyone else that I've talked to to look forward to anymore this was something that had the ability to bring back such a phenomenally large amount of the player base and now the majority of people that I've talked to that had planned on coming back for this don't even care they're, they're telling me that it's not even worth re-downloading the game to them because everything that they had planned or the majority of things that they had planned are not like they just know that DE has either already nerfed them or they're going to be coming into nerfing them to, to nerf them again here in the future. And so I, I just kind of wanted to rant on that for a little bit because it is very frustrating and it is it's very annoying when you see that the abilities that they give us to work with, to play around with, to take from Warframes and put on other Warframes. Some of them are really awesome choices. Some of them are kind of silly. And now I'm to the point where I'm like, okay, well, for my Eidolon hunting build, I was going to take Roar and put it on my Volt, but now it would be a smarter choice for me to take Smite and put it on Volt. That way I can 
buff my weapon damage with the smite augment as well as with the shock augment because roar has been roar has been so uh nerfed to the point where it's not even going to be worth putting it on it would be more sensible for me to bring a rhino with me rather than changing out let's say his speed because let's be honest uh his his speed and his ult are there's really no point to them uh the way that my vault set up is i do the where you can hold the shock and it increases the lightning damage or the electricity damage on your weapons and you use your shields and you have a, a shit ton of duration so really i mean it's it's going to be much more beneficial at least for me when i'm hunting eidolons to have smite rather than the roar now i know that that being what my plans have changed to that's kind of exactly what they're wanting to do that's what they're pushing for but it it removes the ability to really fully have player choice and the people that were looking for roar in the first place they're still going to like they're still just going to use it or they're just they're just going to bring a rhino you know, so I, I find it very frustrating that they're doing this. And it, it really took an expansion or an update that I was super, super looking forward to and made it to where it's like, yeah, I'll, I'll probably check it out. But I don't see myself putting as much time into the game as I had originally planned on doing with this new update. I mean, I had a lot of a lot of different builds planned that I wanted to change around that I wanted to mess with. Uh, that I wanted to really test out, but I just, I don't see the point in going through everything that it's going to take to get the system working and making all the different Warframes, like Equinox is a big one that I'm going to want to use those abilities, but why am I going to go and do all the farming that I need to do to be able to get Equinox when I know that as soon as people start using an Equinox Rest and Rage on Loki or on Ivara to to farm um focus that they're just going to come in and nerf it into the ground like it, it's showing me that there's really no point for me to really put as much time as i would have originally put into the system because they're they're not they're not going to let us have the fun that we could have potentially had with the build but anyways guys that's just that's what I wanted to kind of rant about and rave about for a little bit. I'm still going to be playing it when it comes out, but like I said, the majority of the reason that I'll be playing it is to check out the Heart of Deimos. I haven't played the game in almost a week aside from making the the Kuva Brahma build video I did the other day. And I just, I don't know, Warframe's one of those games that as soon as I start putting time into the game and I start getting really into the game, something happens to where things get nerfed or things change for the worse or you know i start getting completely screwed by their very intricate rng and percentage base i mean i had to run multiple hundreds of elite sanctuary on slot runs to get something that is claimed to have a 20 percent drop chance doesn't make sense to me but whatever that's 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 a whole nother time um let me know what you guys think let me know how you guys are feeling about this down in the comment section below and i don't know i guess after it comes out i'll play it for a little bit and i'll really see how i feel about it but that's the video like i said in the beginning if you like this kind of stuff like share comment subscribe all that kind of shit and uh i'm out